everybody, DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Pops and Bills, baby. Hashtag Pops and Bills. Today, we've got 27 mods in testing, and we've got eight modders to talk about. So let's jump right in. In testing for PC, we have the Beat Loader for Wheel Loader, Bridge Pack, Cargo XK18, Dan Gravel Pack, Draw Bar, Famed Pullock, Legal DPW210. Oh, I love this trailer. Horse Pronto DC, PF1500, Mac Flatbed Pack, and TGX Tanker and Trailer Pack, Multi Fruit Container and IT Runner Pack, New Holland Forge Cruiser Series, not a pack, thank you, New Holland TC5 Series, Laceable Objects, PNU 840, South Portugal, Productions, ah, it's a pack, Robert Straw Pack, Silo Multi Fruit and Liquid, not a pack, Silo New Railroad, oh, it's a pack, it's a Multi Fruit Pack, Small Grain Silo, and Subsoiler, sub Subsoiler. In testing for consoles, we've got the Diesel Barrel, Horse Cruiser 12XL, 845 AG Haul All Series, and the Rana H21D. With all that being said, we still have 1,120 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 18 work days, which is March 9th, if anyone's counting. Oof. Starting off today's top stories with custom awnings John Deere 8R series pack for all platforms. Before we get into the mod, I want to reiterate one fact. We are now able to have duplicates on mod up, so you may see some stuff that's in this pack that we already have, or maybe everything we already have. And that's just something that giants are letting happen now. And I'm totally cool that I complained about this for the entirety of Farms of 19's lifespan. Now modders can just release what they make, which is awesome. With that out of the way, Custom Onyx says that they're going to be including models from the ADAR family made between 2014 and 2022, including the ADAR, ADRT, and ADRX. Oh yeah, they're also going to be adding more wheel spacing options as well as new settings for the 2020 lineup, like new tracks and a new monitor. Oh yeah, more to come as well and we should see those other things soon as custom modding is close to beginning the internal testing phase. AY Modding says that there's just a few more pieces left to add to their international ant eater and that it's going to be ready for texturing. So I'm here with a new front grille option based on the 3588. See that he's adding the Super 70s to the mod. There may be some changes to the model compared to the one in real life, but it will be as close as possible. We even get to see the mod in game, although there's still a lot that needs to be done. This is a super early version. It's still cool to see in game though i love this thing and i can't wait to see the final product he does say that soon he's gonna post a video showing off the first working prototype i'll let you know when he does white bull mining have a new screenshot showing off their massey ferguson mf356 loader this is actually the first one we got uh which was the original teaser pack in december of 2021 the first released back in Farming Simulator 17, of course, but it's coming back to Farms in 22 for the third version. They say that it's going to be different from the two previous versions, however, with a new engine in-game and more detailed model and a forestry superstructure, among other things as well. No other information was shared, but I'm sure we will find out what that other information will be soon, so stay tuned. Well, Setfast also shares some information on a mod that they're bringing back, the Lizard T and Body Works, which was super popular back in Farms of 19, and I shared a lot of information information on it. It's a beautiful truck. Unfortunately, Google Translate has no idea what they're saying, as some of the words that they use just can't be translated in, into English. They do say this. Soon, we're going to treat Malona Via. Whatever that means. Do you know what it means? Let me know. Either way, the truck is going to be available probably with three different beds, as it was in Farming Simulator 19. A bell bed, one for bull crops, and a transport Bed. And even more mods coming back from AgriMods, we have their Massey Ferguson 3640, and as they say, it is with Giants waiting testing for all platforms. But with this one, when I see it's coming back, that doesn't actually mean it was released in Farms of 19, but it looks identical to other Masseys that we had from Hulse FS, the 5650. There was also a John Deere that looked extremely similar to this as well. Either way, it is nice to see some smaller, older equipment coming to the mod hub. Pepe978 looks to be working on a new grape harvester from the brand Caffini, the Drift Stomper 2000. This is their next official project for Farming Simulator 22 for all platforms. It will be totally original and new for the game, which we're starting to see more of. That's really nice. A lot of modders have gotten out their more popular mods from previous games, with a few more to come, but it's good to see some new mods coming. Also know that grapes haven't gotten a lot of love since the release of the game, so it's nice to see more tools coming for you guys to work in your vineyards. Let me ask you a question. What's one animal that you wish you could transport more instead of having to pay the exorbitant transport tax on? 
chickens. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. And so was A-Dub modding. I think so, because he's working on a version of his animal trailer for Farm Sim 19, which was a version from White Bull modding at Farming Simulator 17. Permissions given, of course, and they have been for this one as well. It's going to be holding 46 chickens in the Farm Sim 22 versions, which is very, very nice. If he goes on specs from Farm Sim 19, it will also hold two cows, five sheep, four pigs, and two horses making a complete animal trailer for smaller farms. I love it! With the recent release of Black Sheep Modding's Old Stream Farm on Friday last week, a few issues have popped up, of course it always does, and Black Sheep Modding are already working hard on an update to the map. This update's going to bring in some features that do require a new game save, however, they have said that a new save is not mandatory, but if you want, of course, it to fix everything, you will need one, but you don't have to have one that make any sense so far update version 1.001 to the old stream farm includes fixing a problem of the impossibility of placing fences on the farm a pile of dirt in the restaurant has been removed new game save is required for that one invisible wall on the fent workshop has been fixed remove the siren in the village oh, i like that it was annoying all train crossings have been fixed with the car collisions, traffic speed fix, pedestrian fix, the problem of selling silage bales at the BGA if you do not have the BGA on is fixed. And in the meantime, you'll have to buy the BGA. A new save game will be required for that. The farm's green silo bend trigger is now lower. The correction of the Cody store sign. Each group of farm decoration items can be sold in separate groups. They're linked to the location of the buildings. New save game is required for that, but I know a lot of you have requested that. They've also adapted the feed on the cows. Now it's going to hold 112,500 liters, and it will hold 150 cows. Also, the addition of hay and straw storage in the farm silo. That's cool. And a fix to the farm silo itself. There are also now eight different license plates to mirror the European setting. There's no release date or expected time frame for this update, and I would bet we probably won't see this for at least a month with the way the testing list is looking right now. So you're better off just playing and enjoying the map. Or if you don't want to start over completely, Maybe jump out and play another map, Comston Farm or something like that, and just wait for everything to be fixed and wait for the update to be out. I did release a map tour of this map on Saturday, so check that out if you haven't already. It's a really neat map. It's got a ton of stuff for everybody. And lastly today, let's talk about Lancy Boy's first map for Farm Sim 22, Stone Valley. To start with, he says that this is going to be the last bit of information that we're going to get before the map will be submitted for testing for all platforms, which is very exciting. That means we're getting so close. Map's gonna include a custom workshop as a placeable now, so that you can put the workshop down anywhere on the map if the default location doesn't fit the way that you want it. Sometimes you wanna move the shop? <laughs> hey, he's giving you that option. Additionally, the map's gonna feature a ton of custom made models from Lancy Boy, along with a few that Giants made as well. We should see a teaser from him soon, and I will keep you updated once that teaser is here. And I'll let you know when we get to the end of this video, but not just yet. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, and myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's news video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be sad. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. That's it. That's the end of the video. Told you I'd let you know when it was. Check out one of these videos.